Hey everybody, this video is gonna be an introduction to a two-handed left hand tie. Uh, we're gonna tie a square knot, also known as a surgeon's knot today. Uh, the first caveat I wanna draw your attention to before we get started is that this is my way of doing things. This is the way I've been taught by surgeons. If you have a different way, that's, that's great, but uh, this, I'm gonna be teaching you my specific way today. Another caveat I wanna mention is that um, we're actually doing this in surgery um, you know, it's your hands get greasy from the adipose tissue and you're wearing gloves. So if you're practicing with a knot board like this one, you want to make sure you practice with real ties in a real life situation. Because if you are good on a knot board uh, and you think you'll be fine, the OR you will not be. You need to practice like you're going to actually do it. Uh, but let's start on this knot board. We're going to start, with, like I said, with a two-handed left hand tie. So this is for those individuals who are left handed. Um, and again, this is my way of doing things. First thing is you want to set the the, uh, the suture material up in your left hand like this. So I'm gripping it with these three fingers and I have it wrapped around my index finger here. Next you're going to take your right hand and drape the uh, right side of the suture around that pointer finger. Okay, So right now we have this original loop then we have this wrapped around here. Make a pincer or a bird's beak some people call it. Go through the loop, lay your right hand suture over it grasp it with your bird's beak and bring it back through. So just to, let's do that one more time here. So we start from here, index finger I'm gripping with these three. I wrap around so the index finger is facing me, make a bird's beak, go through, grip the right sided uh, suture material through with the bird's beak, bring it back through and there you have a knot. Now the key to a, a, a square knot or a, a surgeon's knot is when you is how you lay your hands for this first throw. And the thing that I like to keep in mind is whatever your business hand is, whatever the main hand is, which is my left hand in this case, because this is a left-handed, two-handed tie, um, you're gonna wanna wrap around that hand. So just remember that you're wrapping around. And you wrap around and it should lay flat like that. So you see here, this is a flat knot. And the beauty of you wrapping around your business hand is that for the second throw, your hands are already ready to go. And the second throw, is you want to stick your, we're essentially going to do the same thing, but backwards. So instead of sticking your pointer finger through like this, we're going to stick our thumb backwards the other way. And like I said, you're already set up. So we were here. When we pull it back around that thumb, you're already set up to wrap around that thumb, bird's beak, come back through, grab it. And there you have your two-handed left hand tie. Now you can see here the way this lays flat is this is, a, this is a flat square or surgeon's knot. I'll do it one more time now a little bit quicker, just the whole movement. So grasping with these three in our left hand, wrap around our pointer finger, bird's beak, through, grab, back through, and we, go, we lay the suture material down around our business hand. So we wrapped around our left hand, which is the business hand. And now we're ready to start the second throw which this time we're doing the same thing in reverse, around our thumb this time, bird's beak, through, grab. And you'll notice these knots, you know, you push them down tight, these knots are starting to stack. If you throw perfect square knots, they should stack. So if you do 10 of these knots, they'll stack into a perfect column. And that is how you throw a left-handed, two-handed uh, square or surgeon's knot. 